gotten some pretty good responses, so in this video I'm going to show you how to disable startup items using Windows Defender. Uh, you should use Windows Defender to disable startup items as opposed to msconfig. Uh, we've talked about numerous times why you shouldn't use msconfig to disable startup items, uh, but just in case, uh, go to start and then run, type msconfig and OK. And before you do anything, you want to make sure that you're on the normal startup. So uh, if you edit startup items with msconfig, it'll switch down to selective startup. So before you do anything, make sure you're at normal startup. Uh, so if you change this, it'll ask you to restart, and you want to make sure that you restart before you do anything. Uh, so. I'm at normal startup, so I can start editing startup items with Windows Defender. So go to Start and then Programs and then Windows Defender. And then Tools and Software Explorer. Okay, so this is the Software Explorer. Um, you want to make sure that the category is Startup Items. And then go down here, uh, select the startup item you want and then select disable. Okay, now it's disabled. Uh, there's a few startup items that you don't want to disable. Anything that uh, ships with window, ships with your operating system, you probably don't want to disable. So you can just check down here. Ships with operating system, yes. Windows Explorer, ships with operating system, yes. Uh, this is something that is part of my virtual machine and I don't want to disable it even though it doesn't ship with the operating system. So, as you can see, I don't have very many startup items at all. Um, Windows Defender is an excellent tool to disable startup items, but other than that, I don't think it's very good. So after you've disabled all of your startup items with Windows Defender, uh, restart your computer, and then load up Windows Defender again, and go to Tools, Options. Uh, I uncheck automatically scan my computer. Uh, the Windows Defender scanner is not very good, especially compared to Malwarebytes and Avira and Super Anti-Spyware. And I'll also uncheck Use Real-Time Protection. And then I also uncheck Use Windows Defender. Uh, I basically only use Windows Defender to manage my startup items and then click save and you'll get this message that Windows Defender is turned off that's okay uh, the next time you try to load up Windows Defender you'll get the same message so you turn it on and then you can use it to edit your startup items once again if you've installed some new programs and then do the same thing to turn it off again uh, really it just runs in the background and doesn't do anything productive um, so that's how to disable startup items with Windows Defender uh, if you have programs on your computer that you're not using you should uninstall them don't bother with messing with Windows Defender uh, so uninstall any programs you're not using uh, the next method recommended method of disabling startup item is to go into the program itself and dis and tell it not to run at startup. Uh, if you can't do if you can't uninstall the program and you can't go inside the program and tell it not to run at startup, then that's when you should use Windows Defender. So I hope this uh, clears some things up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so a program that's really convenient, which is located in the malware sticky, is DDS. So you can only run this program if you're running a 32-bit operating system. For the 64-bit users, uh, you'll just have to use Hijack This. Uh, so just double-click on DDS and run it. Uh, don't close this window, just let it run. Okay, when DDS finishes, it'll have two logs. Uh, post the contents of both of these logs into your new thread. Okay, if 
you're running 64-bit operating system, you have to use hijack this. So do a system scan and save a log file. Uh, post this entire log into your thread. And then um, go to the miscellaneous tools section. Okay, once you're in the miscellaneous tools, go to the open uninstall manager and then save this list. Just save the list to your desktop and then post the, the contents of this log into your thread as well. Uh, this lets us see what you have installed on your system. Uh, so I hope that helps out in managing your startup items and getting your computer to run faster. Uh, it also helps out the people that are helping you in the forums. Uh, to better diagnose your system and uh, so post if you're a DDS post if you can use DDS post both your logs it's the preferred method if you can't use DDS because you're running a 64-bit operating system run hijack this and post your regular hijack this log and then post your uninstall log so I hope that helps I'll post this in my regular thread